hello friends it's the over here and uh, welcome you to the new video which is about fluid calculation it will be a short video but really important thing which everyone of us should know about this first of all i have given you two sentences in the very first slide and i've written that uh, it is you should to memorize it remember in normal adult iv set one milliliter is equal to 16 drops per minute here okay it is approximately in periodic set in periodic set one milliliter is equal to 64 drops per minute 64 drops okay now coming towards the fluid calculation for fluid calculation we will have to memorize to remember this rule of four which is important in rule of four states that drop rate which is actually number of drops per minute is equal to volume in milliliter per hour divided by four remember this volume in milliliter per hour divided by four let's come to this example if 160 ml of fluid to be infused in one hour what will be the drop rate we are having a patient if we want to infuse 160 milliliter of fluid to that patient in one hour what will be the drop rate how many drops per minute should be infused okay so putting the data in that rule of four statement 160 per hour one hour divided by four it comes out to be 40 drops per minute okay by calculating uh, calculation being calculation one it comes out to be 40 drops per minute okay let's verify it either it is true or wrong 160 milliliter of fluid was to be infused in one hour so 160 milliliter divided by 60 minutes 2.66 milliliter in one minute as one hour is having 60 minutes okay 2.66 milliliter to be infused in one minute so we will to convert 2. that milliliter into drops so 2.66 milliliter multiplied by 16 drops I told you in the first slide that you should remember this so 2.66 multiplied by 16 it comes out to be 42 drops so 42 drops here and in the previous slide it was 40 drops so both are approximately same so this was rule of four okay now coming towards the another example if 200 milliliter to be given in one hour what will be the drop rate again there is a patient and someone has told me us that he we will have to infuse 200 milliliter in one hour so again according to the rule of four drop rate is equal to fluid in milliliter per hour divided by four this is the statement okay again by putting the data in this formula 200 milliliter divided by one hour divided by four it comes out to be 50 drops per minute so this is according to the rule of four now again let's verify it 200 milliliter to be infused in one hour this is a statement of uh, the air so 200 milliliter divided by 60 we want to convert in, into minutes so 3.33 milliliter per minute we will have to infused okay and one milliliter is equal to 16 drops so drop rate will be 3.33 multiplied by 16 so it comes out to be 53.3 drops per minute approximately which is again totally the same like uh, approximately 50 and 53 total not that many difference now if volume of fluid to be infused is given for one day in the previous example it was given to be infused in one hour now if it is given to be infused in one day then what will you do so here again one statement volume in milliliter per day divided by 100 just it is very simple if it is given that you people should infused in that much fluid in a day so just divide volume in fluid divide by day per day divide by 100 okay so here is example if 2500 milliliter of fluid is to be infused in one day so what will be the drop rate 2500 milliliter per day divide by 100 I have put all the data in this statement so 25 drops per minute it comes out to be 25 drops per minute we will have to infuse 25 drops per minute so let's verify it either it is true or wrong 2500 milliliter in one day we will convert it into 2500 into one hour so in one hour it come out to be 104 by 16 one day is having 24 hour okay 104.16 milliliter will infused in one hour we will convert it into minute as we are going towards drop rate okay 
so for one milli per milliliter in minutes 104.16 by 60 is one hour is having 60 minutes uh, we have divided 1.74 milliliter per minute okay so again this is in milliliter we will to convert it into drops so again i have told you at the very first slide that one ml is equal to 16 drops in adult set so again we will convert it into drops 1.74 multiplied by 16 so it come out to be 27 drops so 27 and 25 drops almost the same so don't worry about don't go towards that much difficult calculation so just do this simple rememorize this simple statement and the other one of rule of four you will be able to calculate the fluid this was all about uh, the fluid calculation thanks